Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new subscribers. I'm so grateful for you all. Today we're going to learn how to make the Tunisian double crochet, the, the Tunisian double crochet. I'm going to be using my four millimeter Tunisian crochet hook and my Dusty Rose Milk Cotton Yarn. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and start with, I'm going to make 12 chains. Go ahead and make your slip knot and we make our chains just the way we normally would with a regular crochet hook. So I'm going to make 12 chains. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So now I am going to go into the back bumps of the row. Go ahead and yarn over and skip two and go into that third one. Yarn over and pull up your loop. And just like a regular double crochet, but you're only going to pull through two. Now we continue, yarn over and go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up your loop, yarn over and pull through two. So we do this all the way across. Remember to yarn over before you go into your stitch, pull up your loop, yarn over and pull through two only. This is the first half of your first row. I apologize for the blurriness. I don't know what's going on. Usually my camera is pretty steady. Yarn over, pull through two. So I'm going to keep doing that all the way across. And when I get closer to the end, I will be back. But I'm going to show you how to do one more on camera. Into the back loop. Yarn over, pull up your loop. Yarn over and pull through two. And I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm at the end of the row. And go into this last back bump here. Yarn over, pull up your loop, yarn over, and pull through two. So this is our first row, first half of the first row. Now we have to make our back pass. So just like normal, go ahead and chain one. Remember, this is half, so we only done, we did our forward pass, and now we do our back pass, which is the second half. So yarn over, chain one. And yarn over and pull through two loops all the way to the end. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two all the way to the end. And if I'm going too fast for you guys, you can go ahead and slow down. If you're not familiar with Tunisian crochet, you can go ahead and check out my beginner's tutorial for the, the basic a uh, Tunisian crochet stitch and then learn from there. I also have a half double crochet Tunisian stitch tutorial as well. So I'm at the end of the row. Now there's two ways to make this double crochet to finish off. This is the second half of your row. So now to begin your next row, we're going to make, there's two ways to do that. You can either there's two loops here. When you make your last stitch, when you do your back pass, you will have two loops. So there's one here in the front. That's your first loop. And then one here in the back. Just trying to get it so that I don't split my yarn here. And this is the back loop. So you want to go in between those loops with your hook. You can either go out the front, which will give you a more denser stitch. A tighter stitch or you can go in between and then go out the back so that's the way I'm going to go for this row I'm going to go into the back of the row it's kind of like a back post double crochet but not really <laughs> except you're going to go in between the stitches so let me show you so when you're at the row again at the end of the row go ahead and chain one Remember to skip that first one because that does not count. The loop on your hook counts. You skip this first one. Go in between the stitch. 
in between those two loops. I'm trying to keep it from splitting. And then out the back, yarn over, pull up your loop, yarn over, and pull through two. And that's how you do that stitch there. Yarn over again, go into, in between, and into the back. Yarn over and pull up your loop. Yarn over and pull through two. And that's how you do that. So this is the second, the first half of your second row in between those two bars in those loops out the back and pull up and pull through the two. And just keep making your way all the way across. I'm going to continue making these stitches here. Make sure you're going in between those two loops there, those two bars, whatever you want to call it. Yarn over, pull up your loop, yarn over and pull through two. And I will be back to meet you at the end. Okay, so now we're at the end of the row. I'm going to go into my last stitch here. I'm just adjusting this yarn here so I can get this hook in here. Okay, and go into, if I can get it right now, go into the stitch at the end here. Right in between those two bars. Yarn over and pull up your loop. Yarn over, pull through two. That's the end of the row. So now, again, we're going to go ahead and do our back pass to complete our row. Yarn over and chain one. And now yarn over and pull through two. All the way back to the beginning. This is your second half, uh, the top half of your second row. Yarn over, pull through two, all the way across. So now when we get back to the beginning of the row, I'm going to show you how to do it the other way, show you what it looks like if you decide to go into out the front of the stitch instead of the back. Okay. So now this is my second row, the top half of my second row. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like if we did it the other way. Go ahead and chain one. Remember the loop on your hook already counts. You're going to skip that first one. Yarn over. Go in between your stitches and just come right out the front. Remember there's those two loops there, those two bars. You're going in between that. And yarn over and pull up your loop, yarn over and pull through two. So instead of me going in between those bars and out the back, I'm going in between and out the front. Yarn over and pull through two. So if you really look closely, you can see the difference, but from, from afar, not really, at least not to me. Maybe it's because I didn't make enough rows, but that's the difference in the two stitches, whether you go through the front or whether you come out the back. That's the difference in the two stitches. So I'm going to keep going, making these stitches. I just want to, again, just show you what that looks like, and I'm going to meet you when I get closer to the end of the row. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm at the end of the row, and now I'm going to go into my last stitch here and make my last double crochet. So this is the end of the row. Our yarn is being quite splitty today. It's normally splitty, but it's being extra splitty. Okay, so I, I really need to work on making my edges a lot better, my end edges a lot better, but that is how you make that row. So now we're making our back pass. Remember to make your chain one first, and then yarn over and go through two, two loops, excuse me, all the way to the end. I really like this stitch. It's a very nice stitch. I'm Really beginning to love Tunisian crochet just because of how the stitches look when you're done. I'm at the end, and that's that. So that's the difference between going into the back loop and going into the front loop. 
I'm going to grab my needle here so I can show you real quick. So these are our back loops. We went in between those bars and out the back. And then up here is where we did our in-between and in the front loop. That's the difference in the two. I guess there's a little bar in the front when you go into the back loop. Like a, like a v, v bar there, it looks like. <laughs> I don't know. But either way, it's a really nice stitch. It comes out very nice either way. Whichever way you decide to pull your hook through, it looks nice either way. So I think we're going to, I'm trying to work out a dress here. So I think we're going to use this stitch for the dress. I'm going to use some Tunisian crochet for the dress to make it look really pretty. I really, really like these stitches here. So give it a try yourself. Again, if you're a beginner, just go ahead and start off with my first tutorial, the basic on how to make just a, a regular Tunisian crochet stitch, and then I have a half double crochet tutorial as well. So I want to thank you for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Cam's I Handmade Crochet. Have an awesome day. And when I come back, I will have these edges fixed up the way it's supposed to be. I'm really terrible with these edges. I have to practice a little bit more when it comes to my Tunisian crochet edges. So have a great day. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.